Greetings, fellow simmer. I'm back. That's right. Uh, this week we're going to have some more Gripper Sim Flight Simulator 4K I Candy action uh, with me, of course, Gripper Sim. Uh, speaking of 4K I Candy action, this week we're going to look at first of all flight control replay. Now we've all been going mad for a replay function in Microsoft Flight Simulator. That is, we want to fly our flight, then we want to replay it and position the camera anywhere in time and space. And that is exactly what Fabio Merlo, the creator of uh, Flight Control Replay, has created. Now I've been playing with it this morning. I've made a little video for you uh, to see what it can do and see what you think about it, the comments. Uh, it's due out uh, this month apparently, and it's uh, currently in closed beta. So thank you very much Fabio for sending me a copy. If you're wondering why the sound is a little bit off, that's because I'm in my new studio and I haven't soundproofed it yet. Uh, but we're going to have a look at that also after we've had a look at the footage for the replay function. Um, now, yeah, it's been a busy time and I'd like to thank all you viewers for waiting uh, for, and uh, members as well have stuck with me uh, on, the, on, on the memberships and also you uh, subscribers. Uh, and I actually, the subscribers went up in the last three weeks and I made no content at all. So that's great news. And thank you everybody for sticking with the channel. So this year is going to be uh, a busy year for me because I intend to improve the quality, uh, certainly with this replay function and go back to the funny stuff, etc, etc. Um, now, also, we are in uh, St. Bart's now at the moment and we're going to do a quick circuit. And I was just playing with the camera this morning. All I did was I used the uh, showcase feature with an Xbox controller, moved it around, hit record and stop and start. Uh, I will show you at the end, uh, before we do the studio stuff, uh, how I actually got it to work.
I'll cut the music for the rest of it, but uh, I did notice a few bugs. Now, I think it's more Microsoft, because as you know, Microsoft can get quite choppy. When you slew the camera up and down in the replay function, as you would when you're flying the airplane anyway, it gets quite choppy. Uh, so you're kind of limited, and that's because of Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. But other than that, this replay function has just been great. I'm really hoping uh, when my 3090 uh, graphics car arrives, it'll get rid of that slight choppiness, but nobody seems to be able to get rid of it. If anybody does, let me know. Let's have another look at that landing from this gear position. After the relatively easy installation, I just ran uh, the app. It's a simple app and it comes up on your screen and it's already connected in this case to my SIM because my SIM's already open. So you can disconnect from the SIM and, and uh, reconnect again. And all I did was hit record, do my flight and then play it back. So it's asking me here to save the file. So I'm saving it as test two. And just save it and hit record. So now it's recording. If you see there, okay. So I just do my flight as normal. I'm going to do a very quick takeoff here. And you see it goes behind the screen. I have another monitor to my right in my studio, which I'll show you shortly. Uh, it does disappear from the screen. I'm sure there's an option. I haven't looked into the options. I just want to see if I can record outside the aircraft and in the environment. Uh, so I'm taking off here. Now, another thing I discovered with this is I can do the recording, but change the weather after the flight. So I can have any weather uh, season uh, of any type or wind, I can just change it. Now, the wind obviously doesn't affect the aircraft, but it will affect the sea, for example. In some of those previous shots, I wanted a bit of surf. Um, so that is absolutely fantastic, for me at least, and probably for you if you want to record your landings and make them look a little bit more dramatic. So that's the end of the recording. Okay, so I go back in uh, to the app and hit stop, and it'll save it. And it'll tell you recording stopped. Now, to play it back is actually quite straightforward. You just go to load, and you select test two. You hit okay, or save, or load, sorry. <laughs> and it says ready to fly. And you simply uh, then go back into the sim, hit ready to fly, and the aircraft is sitting there, okay? You can flick switches and uh, whatnot, uh, but you wanna play the uh, recording. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna hit play, and I'm gonna hop outside, and I'm going to use my Xbox controller uh, to change the views. Uh, now, how am I recording the screen itself? Well, I'm using OBS as well to actually record what I'm what I'm doing. Okay, so out it comes. I go back into the camera option in Microsoft Flight Simulator, if I can. Go to Showcase, and now I'm active with my Xbox controller. Uh, and now it's going to play, and all the 
I can change views any which way I want as you normally can on Microsoft Flight Simulator. So I'm just changing the views and that's exactly how I made that quick video. So it's absolutely stunning, very, very simple. I haven't gone into detail with it yet. There are a few little bugs uh, you might see towards the end here. Uh, it does happen from time to time, it kind of pirouettes around, but it's a beta, okay? It's a beta, uh, and I'm sure they'll fix that. So um, all the views here are being recorded now as I fly, if, I, if you have OBS Studio, which is free. See the way it pirouettes there? It does that the odd occasion, very rarely, but it didn't upset my recording at all. Uh, and now um, it's gonna finish up, and there's OBS there, so I stop recording. Uh, and that's how you actually record it to, to actually save the recording. Um, there are other ways, but we'll see what Microsoft comes up with. But um, I'm hoping this will be better because uh, it really did help and I'll be using it uh, for the future. Hail to the members. Uh, I'm amazed that so many of you stuck with me uh, with these three weeks of no posting. Uh, so thank you so much for sticking with it. Uh, it is very motivating. And those of you who want to become members, of course, you can just hit that join button. But remember, if you become a member or you subscribe, you don't get hassled. You get no emails, uh, nothing at all. You don't get hassled at all. That's so great about YouTube. Now, if you wanted to have a notification and you're a subscriber, you can hit the bell and you'll get a notification when I post a video. But you can unclick it just as quick as you clicked it. So thank you so much to the members and to your subscribers and to you viewers. Uh, who haven't subscribed yet, you're very, very naughty. Okay, <laughs> let's have a look at my crazy studio. So this is what I began with. Uh, the wooden floor, unfortunately, is very bad for echo. And I wanted to remove the wallpaper. Uh, so I tidied it up as best that I could and removed the wallpaper. It's 2020 slash 2021 and people are still using wallpaper. I'm aware I may need a haircut. Uh, so I removed the wallpaper quite successfully, although it took quite a while. If you're interested in the colour, it's Suspense by Dulux. Ooh, fancy. So uh, I prepped the room for painting, covered everything, masked everything as best I could. And then I started painting the edges, uh, which was quite tricky, but the uh, not bad. Uh, I thought I'd get spillage of that grey paint all over the roof. But as it turns out, I have a reasonably steady hand. Uh, so yeah, I continued on with that and painted the bejesus out of the room and quite successfully, and it's 99% it's preparation. So I had my grey walls. The final moment. What the hell is this? What the deuce? Okay, so another coat needed. Now, I don't like those white wall plugs, so I thought I'd play my hand uh, with a bit of electrics. Easy enough, not much of a problem. But yeah, it, I, I do like the dark theme effect, uh, very much so. I do love these dimmer switches. And look at the craftsmanship of what I've created here. Uh, they're absolutely stunning and they're really cool. Look, what the deuce? Oh, well, maybe I'll just turn it off. Oh, it does that too. Okay, big deal, the footage is a bit grainy. So this is what I was left with. So Wi-Fi was next, so the guys uh, installed one gigabyte uh, fiber which is the best you can get here. The desk now, this is my IKEA desk that I disassembled from my old studio, and it's too bright for the room. I want the dark theme, so uh, I sandpapered the shit out of it. Uh, yeah, look, I don't have a clue what I'm doing. I really don't. I never done, I didn't, I've never sandpapered it. These hands are made for science, but, uh, you know. Anyway, uh, this is what I was left with with the room meanwhile. And uh, the desk I put a lot of thought into and it took quite a while. So I thought I'd paint it a kind of very dark wood colour. Now this is an Ikea desk and it's got laminate on it. So that's why I had to sandpaper quite a bit, very light sandpapering. Uh, and I thought, how am I going to get a wood looking effect on an Ikea desk? So this is Ron Seal wood stain. Okay, now I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. But look, they worked out, I think. It looks woody. Doesn't look like wood. I think it looks like wood. So yeah, the desk, I was quite happy with that. Uh, there's another bit missing. And this is what I'm left with. Um, I know it's very grainy footage. I just quickly record this with my iPhone because uh, I need to upload this video now. Um, so this is my desk. This is where I edit. Uh, that's where I do the voiceovers on the Apple Mac. Uh, and then I've got my PC, my trusty PC, which is a 2080 Ti with a, nine, uh, a 990 processor with 32 gigs of memory. I'm waiting still for my 3090. Can you believe it? Uh, and this is the sim station with the extra monitor to the right. Now I've got to fix all that. Um, so the sim station is the same as it was. Uh, looking pretty good. More work to be done, but uh, I'm going to continue tidying it up. But it's functional now. I can make videos every Friday uh, and that's great. 
Um, so there we go. Um, I will do another more in-depth uh, studio tour when I get it really up, up to scratch because I want it to look really, really cool. Just because, you know, why not? If you, you know, um, I need, you know, other stuff, shelves and whatnot. But I know it's okay for the moment. It's good. So thank you all for watching and members and subscribers and viewers. And I'll see you next time on the Reaction Review. Oh, it's going to be called Gripper Sim. I'll change that soon.